we studied centurion livers. Um, the way we kind of came up with that was we looked at livers with a cumulative, a total cumulative age greater than 100 years. So we looked at uh, pre-transplant survival and the donor. So essentially the donor's age, as well as how long the liver went on to survive in the recipient. So uh, when we combined the two, we kind of stratified out and created a small cohort of um, about 25 livers, essentially, out of over 250,000 livers in the span of 30 years that demonstrated this remarkable 100-year um, survival. We tended to shy away from using livers from older donors. So if you look at our cohort, um, the average age of the donors is actually close to 85. Um, so that's probably another reason why um, um, the numbers are relatively on the lower side. Um, as time has gone on, um, uh, surgeons are tending to get to be a little bit more aggressive, um, but um, I think if we can try to pair out or sort out what it is amongst, what's special, as Yash was saying, what's special amongst these donors, we could potentially um, get more, more livers available to be transplanted and have good outcomes.